Hi, it's Cheryl and I'm here to show you another bracelet. This one is made on the Munster Tail Loom. And I am calling it the Sherbert. It is reversible. And as you can see, it is definitely more a unique pattern to anything you've seen before. My daughter named this one. As soon as she looked at it, she said, it reminds me of Sherbert. So I said, well, that's going to be its name then. So both sides are definitely distinctive of each other, two totally unique looks. And we're going to get started with this now. Let me pull out some bands. I'm showing this in purple and white. I always find it easier to use two distinct colors. You of course have your choice of doing it however you want. For your first row, I have a band here marking this side. This is just to help me keep track because the two different sides on this, as you see when I do the second row, are different and this is to help me keep track of which side I'm on. This band's not going to get used at all. All it is is um, for me to keep track of what side I'm on. Okay, so your first row is going to go on and it's going to get twisted two times. So it's not just one twist, it's two twists. And these are going straight across. One and two. One and two. I'm going to move up this light a little bit for you. Okay, and then from here, I'm switching off to a white. And the white is going diagonally here. Sorry, my bands are sticking together a little bit here. And diagonally here. This is why I have the marker, because they're only going diagonally in one direction, and I want to remember which direction I'm going every time. And across here. And across here. So that is our pattern. Oops, I'm going to move this down so it's underneath. Everybody has that. I'm going to give you a minute to catch up and get the pattern. Alright, so from here, you're going to go around and pull the purple over the white up into the middle. Of course, whatever color you're using. This side you've only got two to pull over because there's nothing here to pull over. And then push everything down. My next row is just going to go straight across. These bands are a little different today. These I got off of eBay. I'm not as pleased with these. I'm waiting on my rainbow loom bands and my lucky loom bands to come in. So this is what I have for now. This is the only one where you've got two different color, the same color that you're pulling over. So you're just going around and pulling your bottom one over your top one this time. Every piece you're color, pulling one color over the other color, whatever color is on the bottom over the top, except for that middle one on the side where you're only pulling the bottom over the top. Push everything down. If you noticed on this one I pulled two bands over, you're always going to pull whatever the bottom color is. If, if there's two, you're pulling them both over. If there's one, you're only pulling one over. 
Okay, so now we're back to the white. I know I'm on the white because the purple is what I have here on the outside edge. Okay, a little something extra on my band. White's going diagonally. Don't worry, I'm going to do this quite a few times so you can get it because I know it's a more unique pattern here. Doesn't matter where you start pulling these over, as long as you go all the way around and pull everything over. Nothing to pull over here on this one right now. And push everything down. Back to our middle bands. You've got two here, so you're going to pull them over. Whatever you have in the, in the other color on here, that's what you're pulling over, whether it's one or two. This peg, you're always going to have the same color, and you're always only pulling over one. You always should only have one here on this peg. Push everything down. And then we're back to putting our whites on. I know since I have my gray here to mark it, that I'm going in this direction. Because I put that gray there to, to mark the opening of my bands. For the opening of my V. Nothing to pull over on this one this time. Push everything down. Back to the middle. Find that you're pulling things off. Take them over a little slower like you see that I do with some of these. Working one side then the other side. Push everything down. Find my gray. Turn it around because that's the opening of my V. Starting to come out the bottom now. That's a really thick band.
don't use anything to mark what side you're working on. I just used a rubber band because it was what I had handy. You may not need anything to mark it with. You might be able to just keep track of what side. I can't, so I have to mark it. Do a couple more rows for you, and after that, I will pause it and finish it off and show you how to take it off the loom. Doesn't matter what order you put these on in, in case I didn't mention that. Doesn't matter what order you pull them over in either. Now before we take this off, I'm going to try a couple layers, double caps, so we can see what that you can see what that looks like too. Because you can double cap this, of course, like anything else. So we're on the white. Let's do the purple. And just like any band, you can do a double capped. So let's put on two bands every time. it's going to give you a tighter tighter look And it's easier to pull over because everything's a little tighter. I mean easier in the sense that it's not all loose and trying to fall off like these end ones tend to be when it's a single piece. It's not going to give you as lacy a look. I like the lacy looks. So I like the single one better. Single cat better. But some of you might like this double cap look better, so I wanted to make sure to add it in here too so you can see it. Plus it saves me from making an extra video for it. You get it all in one.
I'm just going to be taking four over. So I'm going to take two at a time. Just so I'm not pulling off that pink band, the purple band that is. Okay. This is sticky. See what I'm saying? They all stick together. It's like they weren't quite cut well, this batch. So I would, I would think that you'd have the pattern by now if you're having trouble with the pattern since I've gone over it so many times. This should have helped you get it since I went over it with the double capping too. Hopefully you're able to pick it up. Get it back on there. coming through. Okay, I'm going to stop there. So now you see how to do the double capping. When I finish this off and pull it out, I'll be able to show you what it looks like double capped. So I'm going to pause here. I'm going to finish it off and show you how to take it off. And then I'll show you what it looks like double single capped at the end. Okay, so I have enough here to take off the loom, and as you can see, um, the difference between the single cap and the double cap of the bracelet, the nice thick area in the middle is a double capped on both sides so you can see it. Move the light so you can get a better view of it. And it actually looks pretty good at doing it in the middle. It gives it um, a nice middle piece for the bracelet. So that gives you an idea of something else you can do with the bracelet. It gives you a nice variance. So there's one with it thicker in the middle, and there's one with it normal in the middle. So it gives you two different types of bracelets you can do, or you can do one all thick if you want. It gives you a different type of bracelet. There's the front, and there is the back. I'm going to show you how to take it off. You are going to take the back pieces, these from the back row of three, and bring them to the front one at a time, straight across. Oh, and I got my gray. I don't want my gray piece. I can go back. <laughs> All right, and then the white. So all I just did was take a piece from here to put it here, here to here, a piece from here to here. Now I'm going to take this bottom one and pull it up over, these bottom two, and pull them up over carefully, and this bottom one and pull it up over. Then I'm going to take this one, take it off. And move it in to the middle 
take this one, pull it off, and move it into the middle. Then I'm going to take the bottom one and pull it up over and push it down. Now I'm going to take my end ones, pull them off, and move them into the middle peg. So I took it off the end, moved it over to the middle here. I'm going to do the same thing with this end. Take it off the end peg, move it to the middle peg. Now I'm taking the two bottom, I'm holding these in place, and I'm going to pull them up over the top. I'm going to give everything a good tug. Now I'm going to hook my hook through here and pull this off. And that gives me a nice finished end to put my clip through. So let me see if I have a clip up here. Hopefully I do. Otherwise I'm going to steal one from another bracelet, which I probably is what I'm going to do here. Yeah, but it looks like that's what I'm doing. Okay. Oh, no, here's a nice clip. Okay, so I have a clip. Now what I'm going to do with the other end, let's get this focused again, is I'm going to take my hook and I'm going to put it through all these extra little ends here. So I'm going to get this one too. All these extra little ends here. And this one's kind of hanging out too much. So there's got to be something on the other end here. There it is. So I'm putting it through both sides of this. This side and that side. So I'm going to weave it through all this extra. See that little X? It's going through the X. I'm going to grab this pink on this side. I'm going to put it through with this X here. Put it through this pink. I'm just weaving it through all of this extra stuff down here. It through this here pink, through the white, put it through the pink, got it through all that junk hanging out down there. Then I'm going to grab a white band and I'm going to pull it back through all this stuff, just kind of wiggling it as I go. This is going to give you a nice finished end. And don't worry if it falls off, just stick it back through everything, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to wiggle it back through everything again. And pull it through again. Once it's through, hook the band on the end and pull it through. So that kind of pulls everything together. There's no perfect science to what you're pulling it through down here. Just kind of grab all the extra stuff. All the extra hoops at the end okay, and pull it through. That gives you two nice ends here to put your clips through. Okay. Another option is to not pull this tight and leave your two ends loose. So let me take this off a minute. Easier said than done, right? So I've got the two ends on the hook, and then these two ends on the hook. You can put the C-clip through that way. I actually prefer it though, pulled tight. Okay, and then you're going to put your clip, C-clip, S-clip, whichever clip you're going to use, through each one of these. I like these little charms. They come from the Lucky Loom Company along with their bands. I just love them because they're so easy to slide the bands on. Once they're slid on, they lock in place, so they're really nice. Okay, so that locks your bracelet in, and there you have your bracelet. It's all done. There's one side. There is the other side with the double thickness, double capped in the middle. 
you have any questions, let me know. And there is your two bands.